every 40 seconds, one person they take badness fully in mind, say him or she no go fit to continue to live for this life again. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, he make us to chook eye for this matter when he been they deliver a message for World Mental Health Day with the Shelley every October 10. According by him, suicide now the second Ogbonge matter where they cause death for young people where they between the age of 15 years go to reach 29. Every 40 seconds, someone makes the tragic decision that life is no longer worth living. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among young people aged 15 to 29. Mental health has been neglected for too long. It concerns us all and greater action is urgent. We need stronger investments in services and we must not allow stigma to push people away from the assistance they need. I'm speaking my mind because I care deeply. There is no health without mental health. They don't calculate, say, up to 800,000 people, they die every year sick of suicide matters. When 2019 start new new, Nigeria don't witness over Boku suicide case them, mostly sick of depression plus lack of attention for mental health. Our investigate reporter Mary Chinda took eye plus nose put for this matter to take a look inside one of the baddest plus painfulest suicide matter for Wiyobodo Ninja. For the matter, we concern 21-year-old first-class student for inside the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. Close to 800,000 persons die by suicide every year. Now that's according to statistics from the World Health Organization. More statistics reveal that every 40 seconds, at least one person is likely to die by suicide. Suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29 year olds globally. When Nigerians cross over to the new year in 2019, it was all prayers to God and excitement. Little did the nation anticipate the reign of multiple suicides that would soon ravage it. January 2, 2019 was greeted with the first case of suicide. DJ XG, the popular Lagos DJ, who took his own life allegedly over marital troubles just a few hours after posting a sad suicide note on his Instagram account. Then to Ms. Hikmat Badamosi, a 100-level student of the University of Port Harcourt. And that statistics continued to swell with a first-class student of yet another Nigerian university the 21-year-old Akachi Chukwemeka, who took his own life after dropping a suicide note on his Facebook page. This suicide takes me all the way to the University of Nigeria and Suka, where his friends and classmates speak about his last moments. Akashi was dealing with depression long before he came out as an atheist. So if anything, it, it, the depression had left a footprint. I meet Victor, Akachi's closest friend and course mate. He is very emotional as he speaks with me. He deeply regrets his friend's decision to commit suicide. I never expected something like this to happen. Just, it was, it was a shock. Only a few days after, another devastating news breaks about yet another suicide case. This time, a church worker, a music minister, allegedly from the redeemed Christian Church of God, Michael Oroshaye in Abuja. Now, this leads me to the streets of Lagos, where I ask the question, why would someone want to take their life? I just read recently of the jump by it would fail jump the second time and they went to commit suicide and that was crazy i think the guy that committed suicide has low self-esteem suicide is not the best way out have a purpose on this earth so i can't waste it by committing suicide these answers lead me to a mega church where i ask this clergyman one question what does religion say about suicide the spirits responsible for suicide are wicked spirits we've got to understand that 
This physical world is controlled by the spiritual. Paul said, we don't wrestle with flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers, wicked spirits in high places. And seeing that Islam is one of the two major religions in Nigeria, I am here at the Lekki Central Mosque in Lagos to ask the same question. Is there a spiritual side to suicide? And if there is, what is it? As a Muslim cleric, I think suicide is, uh, is demonic. It is uh, against the law of God, against the law of Allah. Religion has given us its side. Now, we speak to the experts. Dr. Maimona is a psychologist. She tells people to stop blaming suicide victims. Sometimes when people just sit down, just make you know, statements like those that have attempted suicide or those that have killed themselves, that they are worthless, they are sinners. No, you shouldn't say such a thing. We as a society, we, we should begin to build a culture of compassion where we show empathy to people, listen to people, not judgmentally, to understand them from their point of view rather than you know, trust to respond to them. She says with love and support, along with professional help, depression and suicide can be overcome. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa. Nigeria current mental health legislator bust out from one lunacy ordinance we shall let inside 1916. We can take the path for one law inside 1958. The most recent try to change the law in Shelle with one mental health bill inside 2003 when no can get ahead. During by nowadays, then done, they put effort to take a represent them like one executive bill with Federal Ministry of Health sponsor. Experts they tell the National Assembly to pass the bill as soon as possible. What we currently use is the Lunacy Act. So, in fact, it's even stigmatizing. Lunacy Act of 1958. And that was given to us by the colonial masters. They have gone. They have moved on. We are still using it. That act has that, um, one of the concepts is that when you are mentally ill and you need admission, the doctor will endorse, you have to go to the court, the magistrate will also endorse, and they will take the paper and take you involuntary admission to, um, to the hospital and you'll be admitted. After seven days, you go back again, and then you keep updating that a checklist that the magistrate will still sign and all that. We don't need that. It's obsolete. Another concept to it is that when you are mentally ill, they should sell all your properties and treat you. It's obsolete. One other thing is that if you are suicidal or ever attempted to kill yourself, just die. Because if you leave, you will go to jail for one year. These are absurd. These are obsolete. We don't need that. So the mental health bill has been in the floor of the assembly, it has passed through different stages of listening and all that. But the truth is that we want it to be an act. Because if it's an act, people will be able to assess um, um, mental health care. That part of the suicide, attempted suicide, will be expunged from it. It won't be, you will need treatment, you, you'll, be, you'll be taken to the hospital as against you being taken to the um, um, prisons. And of course, nobody's going to sell your properties to look after you. You get help, medication should be subsidized. These are the things that we are really looking at. And we are hoping that the Ninth Assembly will pass, pass that bill into an act. Because it's much needed now than ever before. Almost every day, you hear somebody dying somewhere from suicide. Plus TV Africa, yeah, with some Lagosians about how then take the manage depression. Like turning to my loved ones, singing Christian songs can bring me life back. So I think it's better to switch your mind off the depression and just switch to what makes you happy. I'm a kind of religious person. I, I always go by the fact that David encouraged himself in, in the Lord. So I found it as a duty for me. If David could encourage himself, so could I. So I encourage myself in the Lord. I just, you know, forget about the thing that, that is looking real. I just hope for a better thing to come. Depression for me is just like a mental illness, you know? So, so that's why I become like sadness and lonely. So, 
So every time I feel like that, I play music and all. If I feel lonely, if I feel sad, I play music only. Okay. And talking somebody also, I need to talk to somebody. I first of all, um, I withdraw first. For personally, I withdraw first from social media, and then I talk to my therapist. I have a therapist that I just go to talk. And once I talk, I think most of the time I'm 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 good. Talk, withdraw from social media, talk, and then I write. It's a very funny state for me, but uh, when it happens. What I do as a person, I I take a walk, you know, uh, that helps me to get back to my muscle. Mental health is your, is like how you have emotional well-being, physical well-being, is your mental well-being, how well your mind, your state of mind is, yeah, that's what mental health is. Being healthy or unhealthy mentally, and I think when we talk about mental health, uh, is being when you are affected mentally and when you are healthy mentally. When I hear about mental health, one of the things that comes to my mind is depression. You see that you're happy, you're good inside, and you feel okay, everything around you, you know, it's okay when you're happy. And things go easily with you. You can think things through and you think it right. You can talk to people, you can encourage people, only when you are mentally okay. But when depression sets in, that's when you start having some emotional issue, unresolved emotional issue results to depression. I think church should help people fight depression. Like when you are in the church, you should be you should feel like you are with God and you should be connected to Him. And so you should be lively. Church should be a source of fighting depression also. The church is supposed to be a place where people can really go to. If you are a Christian, where you should go to and feel the joy of the Lord. But these days, I don't see the church helping depression. I feel to handle depression, first of all, it has to start with yourself. The church can help, help people fight depression by letting them know that depression is actually real and it's okay to be depressed. So people will come open, they will express themselves more, they will share their problems and their issues and from there you start looking for solutions.